What's up everyone? Mr. NoobTube Gamer, giving you guys another Battlefield 1 gameplay commentary. Today we're playing Conquest on Ballroom Blitz, my favorite map in the entire game. And I have no idea what's going on with Battlefield 1, but lately this game has been popping the fuck off. Like the player counts have been insane. Almost every server I try to join is completely full. This was the best server I can find. I think it was a West Coast server. And I live in the East Coast, so it's pretty far away. My ping was like close to 100. But this is the only server I can find that wasn't completely full and that I didn't have to go on a waiting list for. And I remember back in January, that was the last time I made a Battlefield 1 video. And the player count was pretty strong back then, but now you got even more people playing. And that's probably because Battlefield 1 was the last half-decent Battlefield game we've gotten. Battlefield 5 is the worst game in Battlefield history. And everyone's been hyping up 2042, the new game that's coming out later this year. So I think that's why you have so many people popping on Battlefield 1, but that's actually what I want to talk about today, is Battlefield 2042 versus Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, which is the leaked title of the next Call of Duty game that's also coming out this year. I don't expect to actually get a reveal trailer for the new Call of Duty game until mid to late August because that's exactly what happened with Cold War. It took a really long time for us to actually get official details from Activision as to what the game is actually going to be, which is a pretty bad sign. It's a bad sign that we're in the middle of June and we haven't heard anything yet about the new Call of Duty game, except that's happening. Just like Cold War last year, it seems to indicate that this year's Call of Duty game is being rushed and is probably not going to be ready by November or whenever they plan to release this game. I assume it's going to be November. But I think it's crazy that we haven't even heard anything about the next Call of Duty game, besides a few of the leaks that we've seen from unofficial sources. Again, none of this actually comes from Activision, but people are already convinced that it's a wrap. Call of Duty is going to get fucked this year. Battlefield 2042 is going to outsell World War II Vanguard. And Vanguard's going to go down in history as one of the worst games in COD history. Again, people are saying this without even knowing a goddamn thing about the next Call of Duty. And people really don't know much about 2042 either. We haven't gotten any concrete gameplay footage for Battlefield 2042. That's not going to come until the end of July. And it's only going to come with seven maps at launch, which is going to be the least amount of maps we've ever gotten from a Battlefield game at launch. Battlefield 5 had 8 maps at launch, and back then people were saying it's not enough content. You see how people's standards in gaming get lower and lower over time? The hype for 2042 is ridiculous, and it's unwarranted. Battlefield 5 was a total letdown. Worst game in Battlefield history. People were like, oh, it's going to be different this time. How do you fucking know that? But there are just so many people convinced that Battlefield 2042 is going to be one of the greatest Battlefields of all time, and going off the results of a poll that I did, did a few days ago, most people are convinced that Battlefield 2042 is going to sell more copies and is going to be more successful than this year's Call of Duty game. 78% of you guys say that Battlefield's gonna outsell COD, which seems pretty overwhelming and it seems like an indication that you have so much hype for Battlefield this year compared to COD that there's no way COD's gonna be able to catch up. Battlefield is going to win this year. But I have a funny feeling that if I did the same exact poll asking you guys if Battlefield's gonna outsell COD, if I made this poll back in 2016 before the release of Battlefield 1 and Infinite Warfare, I'm sure the results would be similar. People were so convinced five years ago that that was going to be the year, 2016 was going to be the year, that Battlefield was going to beat Call of Duty, because Battlefield 1, there was so much hype, so much positive energy around that game, but Infinite Warfare, it was the most disliked trailer in the history of YouTube, and everyone online was hating on Infinite Warfare before we even saw any gameplay footage for it. That was a time when people were sick and tired of futuristic Call of Duty, we just had Black Ops 3 the year before, and Advanced Warfare the year before that, so we had a bunch of jetpack Call of Duty games, and people wanted to go back to boots on the ground, and we're sick of these jetpack cops. And just the name Infinite Warfare, people thought it was a fucking joke and it was ridiculous. And it seems like people already made up their mind that Infinite Warfare, they're not gonna buy it and they were gonna buy Battlefield 1 instead. But guess what? Despite all the drama and all the controversy surrounding Infinite Warfare, Infinite Warfare outsold Battlefield 1. And I know a lot of people are gonna comment saying, oh, but that's only because Modern Warfare Remastered was bundled with the Legacy Edition for Infinite Warfare. That's the only reason why Battlefield lost, because of MWR. Well, it doesn't really matter what excuses you come up with. The facts are the facts. Battlefield 1 lost to Infinite Warfare. And I think this year, in 2021, Call of Duty is going to outsell Battlefield again. And I know just saying that, people are going to accuse me of being a Call of Duty fanboy, and people are going to automatically dislike the video and say, you suck, go fuck yourself. But me saying that, that Call of Duty is going to outsell Battlefield in 2021, it has nothing to do with how I actually feel about the current state of Call of Duty, or that I think that COD is better than Battlefield. Because I don't. I think Modern Warfare 2019 is by far the worst game in Call of Duty history, and Cold War is the second worst game in COD history. There's a reason why I played more Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2 this year than I have Cold War. So I don't want to hear the bullshit that I'm a COD fanboy and I'm just hoping that Battlefield fails and I want Call of Duty to beat Battlefield. 
It has nothing to do with how I feel. Because although I feel that Modern Warfare is the worst game the COD series has ever seen, in reality, it's the best-selling game in Call of Duty history. Modern Warfare sold more copies than Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, any game that you can think of from back in the day that people thought was the best COD ever. Modern Warfare beat every single one of them in terms of sales. And if these leaks about Vanguard are true, that Call of Duty World War II Vanguard is pretty much going to be a World War II reskin of Modern Warfare with the same engine, same gunplay, same everything, just with World War II weapons and a World War II aesthetic, that's going to convince a lot of people to get World War II Vanguard because Modern Warfare was a hugely successful game. It sold over 30 million copies worldwide. If you can convince at least half of those 30 million people to buy a World War II version, version of Modern Warfare, then there you go. World War II Vanguard outsells Battlefield 2042. And that's just the multiplayer. We didn't even talk about Warzone, which is also going to be huge at getting people to buy World War II Vanguard because Warzone, people underestimate the influence that Warzone has over the success of regular multiplayer because even though Warzone is a free-to-play battle royale, there are a lot of people that love it so much, they invest so much money into it, that they're going to want to get World War II Vanguard so that they can keep unlocking new content through the battle passes. You can still do that in Warzone, but for multiplayer... You won't be able to unlock the content in the seasons for World War II Vanguard if you play Modern Warfare multiplayer or Cold War multiplayer. That alone will also convince a lot of people to get Vanguard, especially if Vanguard is going to run on the same engine as Modern Warfare and Warzone. That would make the integration between Vanguard and Warzone a lot more smooth than what we got with Cold War and Warzone, two games that ran on completely different engines and the guns felt completely different. So because of the different engines, the integration with Cold War into Warzone was very inconsistent and people didn't like it. That integration kind of sucked, but an integration between Warzone and Vanguard, especially if the rumors are true about Vanguard having the same gunplay as Warzone Modern Warfare, as well as a brand new Warzone map set in World War II that comes out the same day as Vanguard, that can be really huge for Vanguard's success. And you can cringe at that as much as you want. Oh my God, Warzone, Battle Royale, it's so cancer. Like, I agree, I hate Battle Royale, but you can't deny the influence that it has on the rest of the game. And we didn't even talk about zombies and single player. I know people are like, oh, single player, nobody cares. But zombies in Call of Duty is huge and was always a major selling point in games like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3. Even Infinite Warfare had a fairly popular zombies mode in that game. So that's another thing that Vanguard's going to have going for it against Battlefield. It's going to have a multiplayer, it's going to have zombies, it's going to have Warzone integration, and a single player. While Battlefield 2042, for the same exact price, $70, you only get one game mode. 2042 is multiplayer only. Now sure, you have 128 players and you have all these different things that might make it worth that $70 price tag for a lot of people. But I just don't see it outselling Call of Duty. I really don't. Unless 2042 somehow becomes the next CSGO or Overwatch, I don't think it's realistic to expect that it's going to sell more copies than the new COD. Because the truth is, people complain about Call of Duty every single year and they threaten to leave the series and go somewhere else. But there's a reason why they're still playing Call of Duty despite how much they hate it. Because Call of Duty is a unique experience. Battlefield is its own thing. You're not going to just convince a bunch of COD players to switch to Battlefield like you're not going to convince Battlefield players to go over to Call of Duty. They're two completely different experiences, and I know so many COD players that hate Battlefield, and vice versa. So, I really don't pay much attention to the fact that a lot of COD players are hyping up the new Battlefield and don't seem very excited about Vanguard, because Battlefield isn't Call of Duty. And if these are the same people that didn't play Battlefield 4 over COD Ghost in 2013, they're not going to play 2042 over World War II Vanguard. I don't think 2042, with their gigantic maps and 128 players and all that, is going to be a viable alternative to Call of Duty for a lot of COD players. So they talk a big talk about how they're going to go over to Battlefield. It's not going to happen. And at the end of the day, these Call of Duty players, they keep complaining about Call of Duty every single year, but every single year they keep buying the new game. We haven't had a single Call of Duty game that has actually been a failure because people just keep buying it up no matter what. And I don't think this year's going to be any different, but... You know, I'm sure some of you guys are going to disagree with me in the comment section. That's fine. I'm just being realistic here. And realistically, I don't think that Battlefield has a chance to outsell Call of Duty. Not this year or any other year. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with anything I said in this video. I imagine that this video is going to have a very interesting comment section. So I'm looking forward to reading it. But that's all I got for today. As always, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.